Hey guys, today we're gonna to be running you through how to use your stabilizer legs, drop down legs, jack winders, whatever you like to call them in this day and age. But on this van, we just call them drop down legs. Let's have a look. So, the most important thing to know about the uh, drop down legs is if you can preserve the life of them, the more merrier it's gonna be. There's some significant science happening here with different cogs and uh, cotter pins and stuff like that. Um, you can get these fantastic little add-ons that make the feet larger to disperse the shock. Um, you see people at caravan parks with drills, impacts. I'm going to tell you why it's good, why it's not. Um, I'll tell you which direction I like them in. So what I like to do is a lot of people just pull this, right? I don't like that. And the reason I don't like that is you'll actually notice there's like half a mil. See the handle? All right, so I take a bit of the weight, then I do it. It's just going to preserve the life of it to be able to not just pull weight down off pins that are relying on sort of a pull motion. Now, with a little demonstration, the old skateboarder 15 year old of me will tell you, if it's dead straight, right, the leg can still rock around. Really straightforward, leg straight, rock around. If it's like that, the old goofy uh, skateboard pose, you can't really do too much. You're sort of really quite planted. You never see a skateboarder going in the street like this. Same sort of thing with the caravan. I like it on the 45s. I like the back legs on a 45 as well. So we're gonna adjust this, pull and pop and lock in like so. And then we get our little leg. Now, this leg, doo -doo 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 -doo. hopefully we'll speed this up so you're not just watching me get arthritis here. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And lift off. Now. This is not designed to take the weight of the caravan. It's designed literally just to take the rock and movement out of it. If you have a um, single axle van, highly encourage you to use these legs pretty much on every pull up, especially the CRVs. They're backwards sort of heavy. You wanna make sure obviously you're dropping these legs to you know, two, three, four people get in that van. It's not gonna whoo, backward. So you wanna be able to actually use these legs on that angle. You can use them straight, but I prefer to use them on the 45. I think you get a lot more use and life out of them. Obviously for traveling purposes, we're gonna do it up like so. You retract it all the way back until it's at its home position with the little nut here locking into its little spot there. You can come back an hour if you want. And do. Okay, cool. Travel, pull and back. Done. The idea is that if you are having them backwards, if they drop, they just drag. They're not gonna swing underneath, impact the floor, rip themselves off. So it's a lot safer in this method. Now let's talk about drills. Let's talk about the old fellas at the caravan pass with the impact guns. Um, impact's never a good idea because the impact gun works on a motion or a rattle gun that is, works on a motion of in and out and around. Um, you're gonna strip the cogs in here. Um, they're fairly expensive, fairly fiddly, really dirty, a lot of grease and stuff. Um, you can, you know, some people get this guy here, save themselves a headache, they just cut it off with a grinder, chuck it in a, a drill chuck on a low speed setting, on a low torque setting, and just down. Really, really easy. So that's what we use at all our caravan shows. Um, I like the idea of hand more so because you can feel the pressure of which you're adding to the van. There's been some really crazy instances um, with chassis and stuff having some concerns because people literally jack the bum end of the caravan up and the whole thing does this and they drop it back down and they're doing that you know um five times a week and it's not it's not healthy for any of the products or any of the stabilizer legs that is so um definitely when you're using these you use them with the cautious ability that you're going to have to pay and replace them they're 200 odd dollars each um so it's ideal that you look after them and get the most out of your product whether it's in or without of the warranty period i hope you've enjoyed seeing me get arthritis and use this little guy i hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll show you the next video as we go through we'll catch you on the other side guys